Hello guys, it's me Karthik. So in my last video, we have discussed about how to configure Swagger in a Spring Boot application with the help of Swagger, uh, you know, Spring Fox uh, uh, Maven libraries. There were three libraries that we have discussed. So we have enabled the Swagger UI in the Spring Boot application. Now I have come up with another one, which is a Spring Doc Open API. As the name suggests, it is a is a widely open open source uh, dependency or the library that you can download and which is built on top of Swagger and very very less configuration is needed okay so that is the main purpose and it is really useful for anyone who is learning be it a student be it a you know a working professional anyone because this will set up your rest apis everything at one place so with the help of this we can you know document very easily and we can see the request response all of them very easily okay so what is the setup and all okay so in spring uh, swagger sorry in swagger we have imported three libraries right so here we don't need all of them we just need to have a single uh, maven dependency that you can see here this is nothing but spring doc open ui okay so let me copy this guy and open your application where you have set and go to your dependency section and just save this and run your application guys okay okay so let me run this application let's wait for it to start running yeah so in the meantime it will try to download that uh, library and it will execute it is still downloading i believe so what i will do is i'll try to put the link official documentation link in a description as well as the comment section so that it would be helpful for you guys as well okay now you could see it is started executing okay now simply open your application mine is running at 8087 okay now simply use swagger iphone ui slash index.html okay now you could see these are the apis that i have already have okay so this is my controller and in that i have these apis and these are the schemas that means these are the beans as part of this application so all of them at one place could be really helpful for us because every time you go to the you know um, uh, every time you open go to the code and uh, see what is the endpoint what is the request and response no need it will only gives you everything okay something like this you could see what is the request format response and all okay now i have another doubt okay so as part of my project i have the data jpa and i have the data jpa rest as well that itself will enable lots of you know crud uh, apis on top of it let me show you that this is a uh rest repository resource that will enable lot of cud repositories okay so we cut the uh, api operations what allow the all of them that we'll discuss later but how do i see them as part of my swagger so that it will be really helpful for me right that is not available as of now here okay so to do that we need a one more uh, dependency guys which is one second yeah so this is the one now this hey to a support this one okay simply come and copy and paste it as part of your workspace and if you are using wave flux here you can download wave flux related as well 
so that it will enable move APIs as part of your application okay so as of now I'm not using but I'm 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 shaving because it might be helpful for you guys okay now simply run this application again and you can see lots of APIs on top of that you know repo being displayed in the swagger okay so in the meantime it is trying to download that uh, other dependency that we have added right spring uh, um, jpa rest related so it is executing here let me open i think it's still executing over there yeah now you could see it is come up and here you could see this is the one i am talking about if you are using data jpa rest then you can add this dependency okay and we have a dependencies for web flags a2a support all of them and if you are using the security that also you can do okay this i'll put in the link description so that it will be helpful okay now here you could see we have the open api definition but how do i change this because it doesn't look good in a real time environment right so how do i change simple Just a minute, let me stop the server. Here, what I will do is I'll create a open API bin like open API. Let me import this open API so this is a guy this is a one okay open api okay then this will ask for return new open api right now let me create a info object new info dot so let me try to import the info first this info will come here here we have description as something like full stack development learnings and let's add another one called title let's say like ab tutorials that should be sufficient and we can give the version as well okay something like v1 so no 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 this is, should be version only there is something it is showing Just a minute. Okay, here this is info of info. Okay, ha, huh. this should be the way. Now, this is you know one time configuration, guys. You don't need to worry too much here uh, let me run this guy yeah. 
now you could see it is started executing now let me go here now you could see whatever we have given we got this right this is good now um, there is a one more guys like uh, localhost let me see where I have configured that in the resource you have a multiple options available okay you have a api docs part swagger uh, path as well okay this will remove as of now let me add slowly so here uh, we will have this one okay so version 3 api docs okay i need to re-execute it because i have removed that i think system stuck it is started now So in this path, you can get the entire JSON, I mean all the information about your APIs you will get. Okay. And we can change this path as well. So let me try to show that one as well. So simply use spring doc. Okay. Let it put some so here api docs enabled disabled and path we can change so let me change something this to uh, index okay next spring doc dot type swagger okay swagger uh, dot path will be there guys we can change that path as well okay ui dot path okay let me change this to uh, something like welcome now let me run this and show you started executing as you could see here then if I this will again will work automatically I think it's still executing I guess yeah it's still yeah now fail to load configuration okay we will see welcome if i click on the welcome it is automatically coming over there but it is saying something okay let me close this and open one more time this is the good spring boot started executing in last time not loaded properly I guess okay now let me run this to load remote configuration okay let me remove this to
now you could see it is started now let me show this yeah now it came okay now let me try to change like spring uh, dog slash swagger iphone ui slash path here so path let me change it to something like uh, test let me close this guy again and run this so i have given the test right so from test it should be directed to swagger iphone ua.html okay so let me show this slash test now you could see from test it is redirected to swagger iphone ua.html okay there's a one more i would like to show which is you can disable it any time you want swing dog with the help of a small configuration only swagger iphone ui uh, iphone ui dot enabled is equal to false that's it this should disable your swagger automatically okay let me run this again it is started executing now so now you could see some issue come that means white label that means that means it is disabled now disabled you could see right so these are the few things that are available as part of the open api doc from the spring document okay so uh, i hope this video is informative for you guys to do try this at your home might learn something new Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. It's me Karthik signing off.